Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to show you one very interesting application of Python programming and Google Slides. So many times we create PowerPoint presentation for various business stakeholders in Google Slides, right? There often we attach various kind of charts that can be bar chart, pie chart, donut chart, etc, etc. Now in different iterations or in different sprints, suppose whatever chart we are presenting in slide that need to get updated. So basically the backend data is continuously getting changed day to day and based on that the attached bar graph or attached pie chart also should be getting updated in the Google slide. That kind of automation you want to develop instead of manually doing that if we can do using a programmatic or automated manner. How to do that on that we are going to explore the concept in today's video. Okay, right. So obviously I hope you are getting it that we need to interact between our Google account. Okay, where our Google Sheets, Google Drive, Google Slides etc are stored. So obviously for that we need to have a service account from Google Cloud service provider, right? So obviously you should be having a Google Cloud account and then here you can create a project first for any experiment in Google Cloud platform. First we have to create a project within that we can launch different cloud resources. Okay, so you can click on new project and then here I can give the name as demo YT slide update something like that. Okay, and I will simply click on create. The name has invalid so maybe underscore is not allowed so I'll just remove those and then click on create. Okay, right. So here you can see our project is getting created. Let's wait for a few seconds. So maybe it is created because earlier it was basically buffering but now it is showing to view this page select a project. So I will select a project maybe and my project name I have given with demo white slide update. So that one I'll be selecting. Okay, so here you can see that this particular project is selected. Now here you can click on this particular navigation menu and then here you will be getting an option of APIs and service. Okay, so first we need to enable API and service within this particular project. So I need to enable that and what all APIs we have to enable. So obviously we want to interact with Google Sheet and Google Drive, right? Because whatever charts that can be bar chart or pie chart or donut chart, whatever we will be creating in Google slide for that the backend data should be coming from Google sheet and in Google sheet will be updating our data points using Python programming right. So Google sheet Python access is needed API access and obviously Google sheet Google slides everything gets stored in G drive. So G drive also we have to enable. So here you can see the option enable APIs and service so click on that and then here you can search for G drive. Or Google Drive maybe and here you will be getting Google Drive API click on that and here click on enable okay so here it is going to take few seconds to enable it and that is done okay once any API is enabled you will be getting the option of disable also so we don't want to disable that so that is fine and apart from that for this project we want to enable google sheet also so google sheet i will search and google sheet api this one as well i will enable okay so all these things we are doing within a particular project so here this is also enabled right perfect now as part of the next step obviously what we need we need to have the credentials to interact between python and this google cloud services right so obviously we can go to credentials and here you can create a service account so here you will be getting an option of create credential and service account we can create here you can clearly see it enables server to server or app level authentication using robot accounts okay so this will work for our use case service account name maybe demo yt slide python some name i can provide service account id this is the one create and continue right and here you will be getting grant this service account access to this project so yeah i want to give 
maybe editor access right so because we want to edit some information in google sheet etc so i'll click on continue here you will be getting the third option grant users access to this service account that is not needed as of now i am simply clicking on done okay right so here you can see our service account is created once that is done obviously we can click on this one and then here you will be getting an option called keys so you can go to keys and then here click on add key create a new key and download the json data so just click on create this will give you all the secret IDs, whatever required to interact in between Python and Google Sheet. Okay, so this is a secret kind of information. So better to keep this in some sort of secret key vault, like for example, AWS secret manager you can use. Okay, right. So because we are just doing a POC, so I am just showing that, but this is not a good practice to hard code or keep it as environmental variable. Uh, in our production grade system, we must follow the security based practices. So anyway, I will now go to my Google Colab notebook and here I will show you some code using which we can interact with Google Slides graphs. Okay, so first obviously we need to install certain modules, pandas, gspread, google authentication, oauth lib and http lib2. So I will simply install all those. The complete code I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section. You can easily take from there and parallelly practice with it. And this is our actual code. So first we are importing all the necessary modules and I will scroll below. So this is our main function what we are calling. So here I have created some dummy data and then I am getting the pandas data frame out of it and I am calling the update GC data function. So it is taking three arguments. So first it will be taking the sheet name. Okay. So here I will be creating a Google sheet with the name test underscore sheet or you can give any name. So blank spreadsheet I'll be creating in the same Google account and currently the name is untitled spreadsheet. So I will change it to test sheet. Okay, right. So here it is not required. I'll delete that and I'll be saving this. So it is safe to drive, right? That's why we had to provide the Google Drive API access also while setting up the service account, right? So that is done. Now let's go through the code. What we are doing in update G sheet data. It is taking three arguments as I told you. First one is sheet name. So test sheet is this one. And then worksheet name. Within a particular sheet, we can have multiple worksheet, right? So currently here you can see we are having sheet one. If you click on class, you'll be getting sheet two. Even if you want, you can rename this. So all this operation you can perform here. So that one only you need to provide as the second argument that what is the worksheet name where it will update, insert, or append the data, right? And then the data frame, pandas data frame, whatever it want to insert. Then here the doc strings we are providing, which is self-explanatory. Now scope. So here two scope we have to provide. One is drive because it is ultimately saving to drive. And then spreadsheet because in spreadsheet we want to interact with Python programming. So these two are scopes. Then here credentials from service account info. Okay. So here we need to provide the JSON information, whatever we received. So I'll copy that. And here simply I will paste it, right? Again, I am repeating, this is not a good practice. In production grade system, we should be taking these informations from AWS Secret Manager. Okay, right? So these are the credentials. It will be consuming from that and it will authorize the account and then will open the seat. Okay, seat name here we have provided, right? As the as part of first argument. So test sheet, this particular sheet, it will open and then within that particular seat with which worksheet it will work, that it will get the idea from worksheet name. So here in the worksheet name, we have given the name sheet one. So it will interact with this sheet one. Okay, right. And then obviously first is clearing everything that is kind of an override operation we want to do. And then what it is doing, it is writing the pandas data frame. First, it is basically taking the column names from pandas data frame and putting as column names in the worksheet. And then it is consuming the values part and writing in different cells, right? As simple as that. So here, this is our simple Python code to interact with Google Sheet. So what we'll do, if you just refresh this particular sheet, currently you will see it is an empty sheet. So I will just simply run my program. Let's see. Okay. So un unhashable type dict. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So two times uh, parenthesis came. So I will delete once and then I will try to run it again. Drive uses different terminology. Spreadsheet not found. 
so it is not able to find out the spreadsheet so test sheet so let's close this and i will just uh, save this particular spreadsheet again and yeah sorry one more uh, thing we have to do that this particular spreadsheet is already there in our account but to this particular service account whatever we have created right to that service account we have not given access to edit this spreadsheet yet so that one we have to do so i will copy the email address from our service account and then i will share this because currently it is private to this particular email address as well which is belonging to our service account and i will click on share okay so it is shared now now let's see currently if i refresh here you will see that currently there is no data now i will simply run the code again and fingers crossed and the job run is complete it thrown no error right so let's go to our sheet and here you will see that we are having the data beautifully name age city alice 25 age is 25 new york that same data we have inserted alice 25 new york and then bob 30 los angeles so here if you see bob 30 los angeles and then charlie 40 chicago this came from charlie 40 chicago right so maybe charlie's age from 40 I am changing to 30 and I am running it again. So here currently you can see Charlie's age is 40 and it will refresh automatically and it will have Charlie's age as 30 because we are overwriting the data from Pandas. Right? Now what you can do, suppose this is your business data which you have updated in Google Sheet. Now you can select the data and then click on insert and then go to chart and you can bring different charts out of it. So maybe let's consider I am bringing a pie chart. Okay, so where Charlie, Alice, Bob, these three guys are there, their percentage is also showing here, right? Now, this particular pie chart I want to insert in my Google slide. So, I'll go to Google slide and I will create maybe a blank presentation. And then here I, I will click a plus icon. So, this is one of our new slide. And here, what I will do, I will simply copy this particular chart and paste that in my Google slide. Once I will try to paste here, it will ask for two options either paste unlinked or link to spreadsheet so choose the first option link to spreadsheet and click on paste okay so that way what will happen this particular pie chart in the back end will be always associated with this particular pie chart which is available in our this spreadsheet okay so as a result what will happen using python program whenever we will have change in data in this particular sheet this pie chart will be updated and automatically this particular pie chart which is available in our google slide that will also be getting updated okay so let me show you that so here maybe what i can do the charlie's age i can convert to 100 okay right and i will run my python code so here you can see charlie's age is 30 and this is charlie's contribution but now it is got updated charlie's age is 100 so here you can see because of 100 most of the area in the pie chart is covered by charlie right so this data is updated now let's see whether in our g slide it got updated or not it is not yet updated right so here you will be getting an update option just refresh this and automatically you will see that charlie's data is updated and latest pie chart you are getting suppose for example i am changing charlie's age to 10 okay very less so i will run this i will go to my sheet and automatically here soon it will be 10 and charlie's distribution is decreased now if you go to your g sheet it is not yet updated so one time refresh we have to do so now obviously one way is you can click on this refresh icon to refresh the data or the chart whatever is getting displayed but suppose you are having multiple charts it will be difficult to do one by one right so in that case to refresh all the charts at once you can go to tools option and then here linked object you can click it will show you all the linked objects with respect to g sheet or some other location and here you will be getting an option of update all so as soon as you will click on update all all the associated linked charts will be updated and you will have latest data in your google slide so every time no need to change this slide just refresh the linked charts and you will get the updated data that's the beauty so if you have to automate this kind of google slide ppt generation what you have to do you have to write a python program using which in the back end google sheet you can update the data and for that you need a google service account once the data is updated there you can easily update the associated link charts in the google slide by simply going to tools 
linked object and then update all option that's it right so this is a very powerful technique recently we have implemented in our project also and that drastically reduced the time taken for ppt update so i hope you understood this this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching